Hey guys, what's up? Apple Fanatic, and today I have a quick tutorial on upgrading the RAM in your MacBook slash MacBook Pro. Um, this will be the method for a 2009-2010 unibody MacBook and a 2009-2010-2011 unibody MacBook Pro. Um, this is the white 2010 MacBook, just to show you. But um, I had issues booting into my line partition, which is my main OS X partition. So I'm just going to be showing you the amount of RAM on the Windows partition, which boots up fine for whatever reason. So just to show you that I am running a uh, standard of 4 gigabytes of DDR3 16 uh, uh, 1066 megahertz RAM, and I will be upgrading it to. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 16 1066 megahertz RAM just to show you right there 4 gigabytes is DDR3 um this is a tutorial brought to you by brought to you by 4allmemory.com they were kind enough to ship me out uh two modules of 4 gigabyte DDR3 RAM to do the upgrade for you guys and then uh, let me, yeah, upgrade my RAM for free. So it was really cool of them, and big shout out to them. They offer all sorts of RAM for all sorts of computers. Your uh, MacBook, non-Mac computers, they offer RAM, but they specifically spe uh, go into uh, Apple product RAM. So any desktop and really any computer, and if they don't have the RAM that you're looking for, you can go ahead and place an order with them or contact their customer service, and they will do their best to accommodate your needs. So um, in order to do this, we're going to want to go ahead and the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you unplug your MacBook from your uh, power supply. Make sure you pull out all wires and um, we'll safely inject all wires or eject. Go ahead and we'll shut down our Mac. And we'll just go ahead and turn on a light. All right, so wait for our computer to shut down. Once it's shut down, you're gonna wanna go ahead and shut it and just flip it over. And I will come back once I have it repos the camera repositioned to make it easier. All right, guys, so um, I have it repositioned. You're gonna wanna make sure your computer is cooled off, so let it sit for 10 minutes or so. Um, I had legitimately just booted mine on, so I'll let it sit for about a minute while I just do a quick walk through how to remove them. So you're going to see eight screws, one, two, three, four, four in the back. Uh, for the MacBook, the screws are the same. However, if you are going to be going with a MacBook Pro on this, you're going to have the four back screws, so the ones that are nearest to the LCD monitor, or LED monitor rather, they are going to be bigger than the ones in the front. So you're going to want to make sure those are separated and keep those in a separate pile because if you screw them into the front, they will not fit. So let's go ahead and let me just push it out. You're going to want to go ahead and unscrew this one. And if this is your first time removing these screws on your MacBook, they are going to be a little difficult to get out. However, I have done this many times, so what mine, mine will be relatively easy to get out. So then we'll move them up here. And um, I'm sorry if you can't see them, they're removable. Then we're removing. It's really not that big of a uh, video part because it's relatively simple to do. Oops. Make sure you keep all the screws together and you don't want to lose any of them. Mainly because if you lose a screw and you don't have a replacement, um, it might not affect the functionality but it might affect how well your device is secured. So let's go ahead and now you're going to want to remove the bottom and it's very simple you just pull up on one side and there's two tabs just pull up and once you hit a click on the first side you'll have a click on the second side. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it over there and at this time if you'd like you can go ahead and with some with uh, some pressurized air go ahead and you can just clean out the fan and with a uh, dry cloth on the back of your computer um, the cover rather you can go ahead and just wipe that off so what we're gonna want to go do is you're gonna see here's your RAM modules right here you just see there's gonna be two clips here one here and one here you're gonna pop them both open lift the first one out we'll place that somewhere safe and then here's the second one 
Make sure you keep this RAM in a safe working condition in case something goes wrong with your replacement RAM and you can just pop it back in. Alright, so that is removed. Show you it says 2 gigs if you focus. Uh, camera's being good. 2 gigs right there. So we'll just place them over here. And now we will take the 8 gig modules, or the 4 gig, I'm sorry. And we will just go ahead and place them in. When you're placing them in, you're going to want to make sure that the uh, pinhole lines up correctly. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and remove it. And you're just going to want to push down with a firm pan. Not too firm or you might break the RAM. But just push down. You should have a little click. Or a pop. And you know that will be in. You will also want to make sure that only a little bit of the uh, color, the uh, gold color, the pins are showing. If you have too many uh, pins showing, it's not going to fit. What I mean by that is if you see how it is gold on the ends, you want that to be about 95% covered up when it's inserted. If it is not covered up, um, you do not have a tight connection and you might error out or get a kernel panic. So once you have that, go ahead and just put the other one in. Sec the first, second one is the easiest because it is not really being pushed down. Now you're going to push down this and it might feel like you're going to break it. Don't worry, it is not going to break. And that is all you have to do. Go ahead and take your cover and go ahead and replace it. Make sure you keep your hands off the logic board and the other essential components to making your computer run. And I will go ahead, pause the video, and come back when it is done installing the screen. All right, and I'm Mac. You should actually be good to go. Um, what you're going to want to do is, I like to do it anyways, you're going to want to go ahead and reset the param. And how you do that is you hit Control Command P R. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, at this, as your computer is booting up, so just push down, hit the on button, and hit down the Control Command Option P R. It's going to shut off. Reboot. And there's the Apple logo. And what that does, it, is, it just resets all the power management. And uh, PMU stands for, it, I mean, it's resetting the PRAM and the PMU. So that basically just resets everything that has to do with the RAM and the uh, hard drive. You want to erase your hard drive. And obviously, your brightness setting, it will be set all the way back to the maximum. Alright. So Alright, so let's go ahead and just lower the brightness. And we'll go up to the top finder about this Mac and as you can see it now says 8 gigabytes opposed to the 4 that you saw earlier. So I hope you had a, uh, I hope it was easy for you like it was easy for me. If you have any questions let me know I'll be more than happy to help. But for pretty much that's it. So for Apple Fanatic this is me saying peace and enjoy your upgraded RAM.